Hello, I'm Dr. Sam, and today I wanted to show you a couple exercises that I use with patients that have cervicogenic headache and cervicogenic dizziness. So two of them are mobility exercises called cervical snags. So I'll be using a yoga strap for that, but you can also use a couple other devices, and I'll explain that a little bit later. The other exercise I'll be doing is uh, for cervical proprioception, where you use a laser pointer on your head to work on cervical positioning. Um, and I find that both of these exercises have been helpful with people with headache and cervicogenic dizziness. So here they are. So here's the how to set up using a, a yoga strap or a stretch strap to help you do this cervical snag exercise. So this is an at-home exercise that I typically have patients do to help mobilize their upper cervical spine for rotation if we find that they have deficits related to their headache condition. So you can, I'm using a yoga strap today. You can also use a tubing or a towel, a pillowcase, or even a belt that's a small out. So what I'm gonna do is put this on the back of my neck. I'm gonna find where my soft, surf, where my, the soft muscle is right above the first vertebrae there. And I'm actually gonna switch handles here. So my one hand will go down here and I'm gonna work on a rotation to my left. The strap, I'll pull the strap down from my right or my left side with my right hand. I'm gonna pull across with my left. I'm gonna hold for three seconds. So one, two, three, and then come back. This shouldn't increase my pain at all, but I should feel like a good stretch as I turn to the left. So I'm turning my head myself and then getting a little overpressure with the strap. One, two, three. Usually when I have patients do this at home, we're doing anywhere from five to 10 repetitions depending on their pain tolerance. Um, if we find that they need both sides, we'll do both, but I typically find that patients just have one side restrictions and then we'll just focus on the one that they have difficulty turning to. So here's the next exercise working on cervical proprioception or joint position sense. What I'm using here is a laser pointer placed on my forehead and I'm working around the target. So in the center of this clock face is a bullseye. What I'm doing right now is cervical extension back to midline. So I'm looking up as high as I can and then bringing it back down right to the center of the bullseye. Now this would be early in a program, so I'm doing this all with my eyes open. Now I'm working on right rotation. I'm doing anywhere from 10 to 20 repetitions. As I progress these exercises, I'm gonna start using eyes closed in more advanced exercises, whether it's like drawing in a maze or drawing in shapes or circles. Now I'm doing left rotation and I'm making sure that I'm coming back to midline. When I'm turning my head here, I'm also using my eyes to follow the laser, so that way I'm not triggering more dizziness. And on this next one now, I'm using the clock to go around. So I'm going from one to two to three, all the way around clockwise. And then as I go, as I go through this progression, I'm gonna to try to go quicker and quicker, go from the number right to the center of the bullseye and trying to control it. And each time I'm working on also not missing the number and staying within the circle around it. And then I'm gonna go counterclockwise. What's good about this exercise is that the device that I'm using here isn't very expensive. I think I bought it for like $10 on Amazon and I can link it in the show notes. This and the target I use, I just printed off online looking for cervical proprioception exercise sheets. And there's a lot of different ones out there. This is a clock face with a bullseye in the middle. So those are the two exercises that help with cervicogenic headache and cervicogenic dizziness. They're to help with improving cervical, upper cervical mobility and proprioception, so head and neck control, and also to increase the range of motion so you're not as sensitive to those triggers that might be causing the headache or the dizziness that you get. This is common with people after a whiplash injury or post-concussion, and I find that these exercises are, while look easy and very simple, can have a very profound effect on some of these symptoms and help them really feel like they're in more control, and by the end of therapy that they're not getting as many headaches and not getting as much dizziness with activity. So try them out, let me know how you think.